of influencers. How did the company start it? Can you tell us the fuel story? Yeah. Um, we started uh, with a model where we actually tried to build a technology that recognized what people were wearing in a blog post. Because when we started five years ago, Instagram was there, but it wasn't as big as it is today. So most people had blogs, which were super popular back then. So we, we developed a technology where you could isolate, for instance, okay, this is a blue shirt. And then influencers, they could, could connect that, those blue shirts to a database of products that we had that was integrated with all of the major retailers. So the Bayer Corporals and Nordstrom in the US and Mr. Porter and Neta Porte and Nike and Reebok and Under Armour. And they listed their product catalogs on our platform. Influencers could say, well, this blue shirt is from, you know, whatever um, Armani and it costs a hundred bucks and they could list it on their blog. We would overlay their blog with a shop now button and all of the customers of that blog could purchase that shirt straight from the blog. Um, so that was quite a, back then especially, it was quite an innovative model because uh, a lot of people were always asking, hey, where's that shirt from? Or where's that, especially with women, where's the dress from? So that's how we kind of, you know, try to tackle that, can, that, that entire issue. But, um, you know, it was, it, you know, sometimes we were lucky and influencers were selling, you know, 20 or 30 kind of dresses. But given the fact that we, we were doing this kind of affiliate model, you know, um, also kind of towards the point that we touched on earlier, you need to sell a lot of product when you only take a very small piece of the puzzle in order to sustain that model. And that's when we decided to morph into something else. Uh, which is what the circle is to is uh, today. Follow the Moti on Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat.